Sydney de Ocampo, and we're at the Shell Mound, the desecration of our Ohlone ancestors' burial ground. Um, I wonder why are you here today? I'm here to give thanks to our ancestors. But let me just go back to what happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. This country celebrated a holiday, giving thanks to uh, Thanksgiving. But they must tell the true story of what happened at the, at the true Thanksgiving, the original Thanksgiving of the pilgrims and the indigenous people of this country, how there was a massacre. But I came here to support my friend, our Karina and our Ohlone people, because this is a very sacred site, and we are giving thanks to our ancestors, the ancestors that came before us. And this is why I'm here to support her. There are many, many sacred sites across this nation that are being desecrated. And we give thanks every day that the Creator gives us life. We give thanks that we have our families. We give thanks because we're here as Earth people. We were put here by the Creator. We give thanks every day to what we believe in as indigenous people that all life is sacred. Mm. So what's your name? Hi, my name is Timothy Killings. All right, and um, so we're at the, the sacred burial ground that's now turned into a capitalist paradise or nightmare, yeah. however you look at it. What's your feelings on the desecration of our ancestors' burial? Um, I think it's sickening. I think it's sickening that they got the streets named after mm. Shellman and Maloney. That's like, that's like rubbing it in their face. Um, if it was up to me, I would tear this whole thing down, man, and, and give it back to the, the people that rightfully own it, man. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Um, do you, what, what, what do you say to all the people who are like waking up at midnight to shop? and oftentimes be walking across burial grounds like this to, to get that capitalist like ten dollar DVD or whatever. I think they should um, they should educate themselves. I think they should wake up and um, know that if you support um, capitalist endeavors like the desecration of um, uh, sacred burial grounds, you support genocide. It's, it's, it's history and it's the history of this country. And, um, it's a known fact that all this country after is, is money and they get it anyway through murder, genocide, and, and plundering. Yeah. And then last thing is, what do you think about, I mean, in relationship to diaspora and the enslavement of African peoples, what would you say in terms of the, how that correlates with the desecration of our burial grounds? Um, I think that... Um, Black and brown and indigenous people, they have a, a common history of, of, of oppression, of genocide. Um, I think that our, our, connect, our, our struggles are connected and that, that's why I'm out here supporting this because um, I believe the uh, Native American people, man, are, are the rightful owners of, of this country, man, and, and slaves helped build it. So I think together we got to so take it down. we're here with the fabulous Leah. I'm here with the fabulous Tony. All right. Yeah. And, uh, would you speak as a woman and resistance why you came out here today? Yeah, um, I came out here because I think supporting... No, they're going down. But basically, I think um, supporting indigenous sovereignty is really important. And I think that I found in a lot of places, like even within people of color movements and definitely within the Occupy so-called movement, people forget that we're on native land and that like native people aren't just all dead and like it's all over, but that like they're here right now. And I just think that Shell Mound is like a totally gross example of the ways in which colonization is really brutal and disgusting and ever present. And, you know, this is a sacred burial site that's 5,000 years old, and there's California Pizza Kitchen on top of it, and, and you know, everyone's just like, oh yeah, let's go to H&M, woo! And we're on bones, you know, and that's real. And I would, you know, much rather be here than buy some, you know, 2 dollars earrings from Elder and Poverty Scholars, Joe, Joseph Bolden, and Bruce Allison. And of course, we're, for, we're all Hollywood, so they're not really elders, they're also ghetto fabulous. And they rock hard. Anyway. I left my femur, uh, in Oakland. Right, so we're standing uh, on sacred burial grounds of Ohlone peoples. Um, for this moment, anyway, we're taking back this capitalist uh, holiday, which has actually become a holiday, Black Friday, which um, is insane for it to become a holiday. Holiday at shop right? 4 a.m. in you. the morning Thank you. for sale. Wait, wait, you know wait, repeat that again. 12 o'clock a.m. 4 a.m. for selling exactly. things cheap. Exactly. And some of those people have been shot and beaten up. Right. And I've never done that. And hearing the reports, I don't think I'm going to try that. Good. Getting shot or beaten up. Getting shot or beaten up. <laughs> to try to buy something cheap.
Okay, well, let's get some levity on that because actually, and this is something Poor Magazine has written about, a security guard was trampled to death um, two years, three years ago because people were trying to rush to basically get a $3 DVD or a $100 flat screen. Or um, is so, that about the stupid doll, too? A, many different reasons, right? But there were three or four or 5,000 people outside of a Walmart in New Jersey and creator, a rest in peace, brother, um, an eight dollar an hour security guard was working at the door and he got trampled to death. So that's what we talk about when we're talking about critiquing this capitalist holiday. Because the holiday itself is an act of desecration, really. I just want to be clear about that and, and make it those connections. The first, uh, Bruce? The, okay, well, this was, uh, Thanksgiving wasn't the first, uh, the pilgrims weren't the first English here first English here were on the Roanoke Island, One, uh, about 50 years prior to this. And uh, they had a good relations with the indigenous people. Okay, interesting. Well, and so, you know, we're here trying to resist the desecration of the gap of Steve Martin shoes, of uh, Chinese Rep Banana Republic. Now let's just name these capitalists. Um, we're just doing an interview now. She can be on. But we're naming these systems. We're naming the systems that are actually oppressing.